Today, we're going to install the EcoNova bidet seat, one of our favorite seats that we sell on manybidets.com. To install this, you're going to need a screwdriver and possibly a crescent wrench, so keep those handy. Stay tuned to see the full install. We're going to start by removing the existing toilet seat. So we're gonna take the covers off and we are going to take the bolts out. Now, once you remove the seat, you will want to keep the seat handy in case at some point you decide to move and you want to take the bidet seat with you. Or if you need to do a repair on the bidet seat, it's nice to have a seat to put back on while you do that repair. Um, so whenever purchasing any bidet seat, we do recommend keeping your existing toilet seat in case you need it down the road. So now with the toilet seat off, we need to disconnect the water supply. But before we do that, let's turn off the water here and drain the tank. This ensures that we have as little water in the system as possible for when we disconnect this water supply. I'm also going to have this T handy with the rubber O-ring inside the top of the T to connect as soon as I get this disconnected. So we disconnect here. There's gonna be some water. We have a little cloth here to help collect some of that water. And now we can connect the T. So we're gonna connect the T to the bottom side here. Hand tight may be fine, but if you want to, you can use a crescent wrench to give it another quarter turn. I'm just gonna leave it hand tight. And then this water supply connects back to the bottom side here. While we're down here, we're also going to connect this hose, which connects to the bidet seat. Again, we wanna make sure that, that rubber washer is in the end. Same principle applies here. I'm actually gonna give this one about a quarter turn. And that's nice and snug, that should do the trick. It's now time to install the bidet seat itself. We are going to put the mounting template in place. This ensures that we have enough room in the back with where we put the mounting bracket for the seat to fit properly. We need to put in the top mounting sleeves that the screws go into. So we're gonna set those in the hole and then we're going to push them through with a screwdriver. Now that those are in, we're ready to put the mounting plate in place. Regardless of the bidet seat that you're installing, if you want to give a little bit more firmness to the brackets to keep it from sliding, you can always put a little bit of mounting tape on the bottom of the uh, mounting bracket. There's a good chance this isn't needed, but if you see sliding happening, it's worth considering. So we're gonna take this off, based off of that mounting template, we're gonna go ahead and set it right here. The washers go on top of the rubber sleeves. The square brackets go on top of that. You want the ridges facing up so that the screw sits between that. If you have the ridges facing down with the screw head sticking up, that is an incorrect installation. So we put those in place. I'm gonna go ahead and use a a drill to screw these in. Now that we've got this mounting plate nice and tight, we're gonna go ahead and slide the seat in. There's a button on the side here that engages a hook. So if we slide the seat in and the button is depressed, we know it's not all the way in, that button will pop out once it's connected to the mounting plate appropriately. Setting the bidet seat on the toilet, we want to make sure that both sides of the seat groove are on either side of the mounting plate and down so that the seat can slide into those. And then we just slide that seat back. There we are. 
Now that the seat is officially snapped into place, we can see that the button is flush. In order to disconnect it from the mounting plate, we simply push in on that button and slide it forward. The Eco Nova is one of the only bidet seats we sell on ManyBidets.com that has a quick disconnect for the water supply. Very easy to do, simply slide it in and use the supplied clip to clip it into place. Once you've done this, in order to keep that clip where it needs to be, you'll use the other part of the clip and snap the two together. So we've got everything hooked up. Let's make sure that there are no leaks. We have our rag ready in case we need it. We turn the water supply on. The connections might feel cold because cold water is going through them but they are dry, so we're good. Of course, if you have any leaking, turn the water supply off instantly and retighten everything, make sure everything is where it needs to be. Check for washers as well. All right, let's go ahead and plug this seat in. The Eco Nova is one of the classiest remotes of any of the units that we sell on our site. It uses a coin battery, which comes included. All we're going to do, and you may be able to do this with a fingernail, but uh, we're just going to give it an eighth of a turn approximately, and that back cover comes right off. After we take the back off, we insert the coin battery, and we put the cover back on and just twist it closed. So now we want to test our new bidet seat out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the front wash. Nothing's happening, what's, what's wrong? Well, the seat knows no one is seated on it, so it's not going to do any wash because it doesn't want to spray water all over the room. So in order to test this, I need to activate the seat sensor. So I put my hand over the infrared sensor built into the seat. I can see that the self-cleaning starts to run. That's how I know I'm in the right spot. And now I push a wash button. The nozzle comes out. and starts to spray. Go ahead and remove my hand from the seat sensor. The nozzle's like, oh, hang on a second, no one is seated. It's gonna turn itself off and the nozzle is gonna go back in. So we've tested the seat out. Now, if you run into a scenario where that doesn't work, you might need to pair the remote to the seat. This is the only remote in the bidet market that we're aware of that uses radio frequency, which is one of the reasons why we love the seat, but it does mean that the remote may need to be paired to the seat when you first install it. In order to do that, you simply unplug the bidet seat, press and hold the stop button until the lights at the top blink red, and then plug the bidet seat back in, and the two will pair together. Feel free to comment on this video with any other questions that you might have on this fantastic bidet seats installation. And of course, if you're looking to purchase, go to minibidets.com and feel free to purchase there as well as ask questions through live chat, email, phone, or text. Thank you so much for watching today and have a fantastic day. Minibidets.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.